Today, city crews began renovations on Collier Park, which will require removing nearly two dozen trees. The city says the timber will be recycled, but some neighbors don't want to see the trees go. CBS 8's Tim Blodgett picks up the story from La Mesa. La Mesa's oldest park is getting a facelift, but that means some familiar trees on Palm Avenue will have to go. Towering above Collier Park in La Mesa, eucalyptus trees, which have stood for decades, meet their end to the blades of a chainsaw. Over the next few days, a work crew will cut down 23 eucalyptus trees around the perimeter of the park. Though the trees are notorious for tipping over and dropping loose branches in high winds, they have been giving shade to La Masons for years. It's a little emotional. Those trees have a lot of nostalgic memories for us, and they're big, and they've been here longer than I've been here. I've been here 40-some years. And Mary Lou Barrios lives close by and has been walking her dog in the park for decades. She says while it might take some getting used to, bringing the eucalyptus trees down is a good idea in the long run. It's a bit melancholy, but progress is also good, and if trees are dangerous, then it's time for them to come down. Removing the trees is the first part of redevelopment of Collier Park. The snug patch of green, which has been a park since before La Mesa was a city, will be replanned and improved. Sue Richardson, the community services director for the city, oversees the project. Between the fitness area and the playgrounds, right. and then with the pickleball and tennis, we'll have lots of different age groups that'll be able to use it. And so we're really looking forward to this being an active and um, well-used park. The city hopes that the $3.5 million project will be completed by the end of next year. As for the eucalyptuses on Palm, they'll be recycled and reused as natural elements for the new playground. New trees will be planted to give shade to a whole new generation for the people of La Mesa. It's really exciting and the community is very excited about this. They've been waiting for it for a very long time. Tim Blodgett, News 8.